It's in a far more glorious place. It's in a far more blessed place. It's in a far more secure and stable place. Verse 16, but now they desire a better country that is an heavenly one. Wherefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared for them a city. We don't have the vocabulary. We don't have the language. We can't express ourselves very well. But it's the best thing we can do if you want to see what that city's like. Go to Revelation and read Revelation. If you want to know what you're doing, going to do in heaven, go to Revelation and, and read Revelation. It's not all about Armageddon, and it's not all about this. It's, it's in there, but there's a lot about heaven and worshiping God in there too. Praise the Lord. When we become believers in Jesus Christ, we have a new residence in Jesus. We have a home in glory. And the things of this world grow dim around us. Yes, we still have to live in it. We have to take care of things. We have to watch. But they're dim and they're not lasting. And our focus and our hope is more and more on heaven and God and where He is. You say, well, if we think about heaven all the time, we're just thinking about pie in the sky by and by. No. You say, well, if we think about heaven all the time, we're no earthly good because we're so heavenly minded. Jesus was so heavenly minded that he was no earthly good. And yet he was the best thing that ever walked this earth. He was earthly good. And if we would get our focus on the heaven and our new residence and long for that, Desire it, embrace it, confess it like Abraham did, to live for it. What a difference our life would be. The joy, the peace. Because we know that no matter what happens in this life, no matter what goes on in this life, God, as it says here, has prepared for us a city. No matter how bad it gets in this life, God has a place prepared. Jesus said in John chapter 14, I'm going away. And while I'm going away, I'm going to be preparing a place. And when I come back, I'm going to take you to be with me in that place. What better place to be than with Jesus? Amen? Amen. We have a home. We have a new home. We have a different home. With Jesus in glory. Every believer has this. But not every created being, every created man and woman has it. Not every created man and woman that walks the face of this earth has it. It's only for those who are redeemed through Jesus Christ. It's only those who have claimed the promise of God and made to Abraham and allowed the Son of God to bless them with new life. And the new life He gives us assures us of a new place to spend eternity. I don't know where you're at. I don't know your heart. I don't know what you're thinking. But if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you may have been a church member for years. You may have joined this church and realize that you're not saved. You need to place your life and your trust and your faith in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who came and died in your place that the wrath of God toward your sin might be turned away from you and receive Him as your Savior. You may be a Christian and you may be here and you may be living for yourself as Francis said in rebellion. As many of us could probably say. 
You may need to come then and repent of that and humble yourself before your Lord and Savior. Ask for forgiveness and set things right between you and Him. You may be here today and not a member of this church, this body of believers. And you may be saying that I need to find a place to worship and to serve the Lord. And this may be it. If it is, we invite you to join with us become a member. If it's not, we commit ourselves to pray with you to find the place so that you can worship and serve the Lord in spirit and in truth. We're going to sing number 317, Only Trust Him. 317, Only Trust Him. If the Lord has impressed upon you the need to repent of your sins and be saved, come forward and do that. If He's impressed upon you the need to repent and, and, and give your life a fresh and a new and rededication, to the Lord come and do that. And if He's impressed upon you to join with us, come and do that. If you just need prayer, come and pray. But we're going to stand only trusting 317. Let's stand together and see. slowly working its way to the front. But thanks for the reminder. You did exactly what I asked you to do, so that's fine. Um, I want you to be seated for a second, okay? We're gonna, I, need, I need to share a couple things with you, then we're going to pray and sing. Uh, next Sunday, we're having an abbreviated service. I'll squeeze a 45-minute service sermon into five minutes. Uh, no, it's going to be abbreviated. We are going to worship the Lord, okay? But then we're going to break and go to the fellowship hall and eat lunch together. And there's some things that I want to share with the church, the body of Christ. It's not a church conference. We're not going to be voting on anything. You're going to be encouraged to pray over things, okay? So uh, that's what we're going to do next Sunday. March the 10th. We're going to do it again. Okay?
okay? Then one Sunday in April, we're going to do it again, okay? And as we do these, you'll, if you come, you'll understand what we're doing. If you stay at home, you won't have the foggiest, okay? But we do, we do need to talk about some things. Um, March 10th, Brian Miller's going to be here with us. He's off that weekend, and he's going to be here in town. So that's going to be part of our abbreviated service. Uh, Miss Martha and he are going to put some stuff together for us. That, that'll be good. She might solicit some of y'all to help her sing. Right? Could. Yeah. We hear y'all singing. But that, that'll be uh, March the 10th, and then hopefully April, Bruce Jackson will come sometime. Better. We'll have to go to his office and get him, right? Yeah, good luck with that. Good, good luck with that. <laughs> but uh, these will be three important times in the life of the church, and we just need to come together, talk, and pray together. So, we're, so next week, you need to come and bring a meat, a side. Do we need desserts? Sandy said we have plenty of food. Yeah. If, if we need desserts, you'll get a personal phone call invitation to bring one, okay? Right, Susan? Sounds good to Susan. <laughs> All right. So you got that next Sunday, you come prepared to eat, okay? Hopefully by having an abbreviated service, we'd still worship the Lord, but not keep you here at 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. All right. Any questions? Okay. The other thing before we sing and pray is I'd like to meet with all the deacons and their wives in my office after the service. We're going to stay at 3 o'clock. The rest of you go home. <laughs> All the deacons and their wives. I'm not talking about active. If you're a deacon in the church, I want you to come with your wife to my office after the service, okay? You're not in trouble. The principal isn't calling you in. All right? So don't feel that way. All right? Any questions about that? Do the deacons know who they are? I do too, Louise. <laughs> All right. Well, let's turn to 514 when we all get to heaven. And you don't have verses down here. Did you ask me to pick one out? No, I just figured one verse, but we'll sing however many you want. Let's sing the last one. Okay. okay. Let's pray, then we'll stand and sing together. Father, we thank you. You're so good, it's beyond imagination, it's beyond description. You're so faithful. And you've done all this for us. You've met our needs here in this world and provided what we need. And you're preparing for an eternity of providing for us, Father, even now, while we're on this side. And we long and look forward to that glorious day when we will stand not on the river looking, not at the gates desiring to be in, but we stand at the throne of God around the crystal sea praising you, Father. For you are awesome and wonderful. May we embrace that, Father, and may we live it out in the world as others. They may think we're weird. They may think we're fanatical. They may, but, Father, may they know that we're different, and may they long for that difference in their life. To God be the glory. Great things He has done. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Let's sing together.
for prayer.